Hi guys, this is Jay Kim. I'll be doing how to use Icebreaker more effectively in God's of Boom right now. Try to leave myself behind. Looking for a better place. The first thing that I want to tell you is sweeping. What I meant by this is your aim with your right hand does not stay in one spot, but it has to move side to side. When you're moving your aim from side to side, one thing that is important to remember is the tempo. Every sniper gun has a specific fire rate, so you have to keep that in mind. Since your aim is moving side to side, it is important to stay at the same level of your enemy's head. It is better to move your aim from the opposite direction of your target's movement. And if your opponent is moving same direction as your aim, then you gotta sweep faster to let your crosshair go past your enemy's head at correct tempo of your icebreaker. Next thing that I want to talk about is left hand movement. Holding right hand still and just by moving left hand can make more precise aim. You can move out and hide behind an obstacle but tag your enemies since Icebreaker is an instant shooter. If you time it correctly, you can never be hit if you hit their heads all you want. The next thing that I want to talk about is flick shot. Um, flick shot was done when I had my aim assist on. It's when you scope and flick your right hand and scope out to move fast and hide. This was done to highlight the enemies when I'm low on HP or facing high damage locking guns like Barracuda or Crossbow. Last thing that I want to talk about is highlight and switch. I use Icebreaker just to highlight enemies because of its perk, especially when they're rushing to you. I usually do the flick shot with it, so I highlight my enemy and hide and switch to survivor or any other assault rifle and finish. This is very effective since rushers think I'm still using Icebreaker when I'm hiding and I kind of flanked them with Survivor and I will most likely win due to its perk of Icebreaker that makes your enemies take more damage. So these are the few tips that I think it's helpful when I'm using Icebreaker. I hope you find this helpful as well. It takes time to get used to the scope but you will eventually get it as I did Hope you have fun using this gun. So this was it for how to use Icebreaker more effectively. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please click on that like. If you don't like it, let's comment down below and we can talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.